Welcome back and we're moving to a different part of the same same topic, uh, number 15, under staircase and hand railings detailing technical structures. And now we're moving to a part that we'll be discussing landing and uh, trade gratings in uh, technical structures. Now, if you take a look here, we have the hand railings in place. Now, I have a macro that will help us in creating the the great the trades and gratings in technical structures. So if I click applications and comment and applicants and component, I'll be able to get this. Uh, it's downloadable for free in uh, Tecla Structure Warehouse. You can check that and and, and and install it, and you'll be able to apply it on your on, on your structures. And also, if you download uh, this structure, will be will be available among the files. And if you open this in Tecla Structure Environment 2020, it will come together with all the macros that I have used here. They, they'll be installed automatically, and you'll be able to use them only within the work area of this particular model that you'll be able to open in Tecla structures. All the macro that you are used to will be, will be available for you there. Now, let me just go ahead and click on that macro there for the trade. And the same, same trade macro is what we'll use to create the landing gratings. Now, let me begin. If you take a look on the bottom end, you can see pick main part. This is will be my, my main part and this will be my secondary part. And my first position, you see this point is along this point. You see, a point in Tecla structures, if, if you block it with the number with with the number component, it will be visible still. And uh, let's snap on that spot. And we ask to pick on the second second op, second position. Second position will be on our secondary member. So just now keep your mouse straight, and if you see that green green symbol of uh, 90 degrees. Just click on that spot on the on the opposite direction means our our trade is absolutely straight. Now, if I right click and bring it close, you can see we have a trade in place, but it's somehow clogged with some symbols of weld. So we want to get rid of those. Just so, just double click or click on left click on empty screen, then right click and come to redraw. So if you redraw, those will disappear and will leave your trade as clean as possible. And that only will work if you've gone and double left click by double clicking by left clicking and coming to display. So once you are in display here, you'll be able to uncheck uh, uncheck uh, the welds. You can see the welds here just to uncheck them. So the moment you uncheck them, you will not be able to see any symbol of weld. So you'll see them, but if you redraw, if you click redraw, they will disappear. Now we are left with some option here uh, another one thing to do is to add more details here because you can see our trade tends to be a slightly a slightly wider is it is protruding slightly outside our though it should protrude but not extremely as, as this so we want to add some more details on this so to add more details on this just double click on it just once you double click on it we'll be able to have the editor dialog box or uh, uh, property dialog box of this particular trade. Now we have options here on the, on the anti skid. We have this and that, so you can add anti skid on that. And also we have profiles. We have the bolts option. We have general. We have analysis there. So we are still on the on the on the pro parameters. So I want to change this instead of 250. I want to make it 200. 200. Uh, will be okay. So I'll, if I click 200 and give it an okay and uh, then come to apply and give it an okay here and come to navigate and pick option of rotate with mouse, you can be able to see we are closer to uh, to the to the best position where it should be. Now what is remaining is to add the bolts. So let's try and add the bolts here. You can see some symbols of the bolts, but that one we've left it way out of the position, but we'll just bring it to the right position. Now, let me double click on it once again. So once I double click on once on it, I'll come to to bolts here, written bolts. Now, here I'll be able to come to diameter of the bolt and pick. It will not be able to do to, to, for, for, for selection until you come to bolt uh, bolt standard. So I'll click on that and pick my 8.8 XOX. And if I come to dimensions here, maybe key in maybe maybe 50. If I key 50 there, we'll see how it, it adjusts itself. It has gone all the way off that point. 
so let me just give it 20 and then maybe bring it close so that 20 will bring it slightly closer and 10 and uh, let's let's do 10. Okay, let me prefix that dimension with a negative sign and see how it behaves it's of the opposite direction let's key in zero so that's okay but you can still always come here and change this come to bolts here and change this to m16 m16 okay tend to be so big m12 and that okay now if we come where we'll we kid you kid in zero zero here we can just left it leave it at 50 then, then once we are in at 50 it's it's when we are at 50 can change this to 100 there that will be okay then we bring this to 20 put it to 20 that's okay now so if we come to navigate and pick rotate with mouse and pick our rotation point we'll be able to see we'll have the though these bolts uh protruding or connecting with, with the string you can see the bolts are connecting the string perfectly well and also in the opposite direction let's check if we have the same same connection on the other side so if we turn this like that we'll be able to see we have the the bolts already in place so this is nice to see and uh you, you can see still you can see the symbol of uh, still not green which means we still have something not correctly done so if I come here and maybe leave it at 50, leave it at 50, and change this maybe to 80 right there, and click OK, and uh, go the other end and try and check this. It's kind of OK to me, and you can just leave it on that spot, because uh, uh, that symbol of yellow means it's averagely OK. And if you redraw and come there and redraw, we have that in place. Now we want to populate this. We want to populate the thread all the way to to the other to the to the upper part or to the landing. So what we are going to do, we are going to pick on this thread, select on it. So the moment you select on it, we are going to right click and come to spatial copy here. So once you are in spatial copy, I'm going to pick linear. And prior to click uh, picking linear, make sure your XYZ plane is aligned uh, with the position or with the distribution uh, slope where you intend to populate this uh, angle, um, this uh, particular thread. Now, let me just come to app applications and uh, view, uh, view, then pick work plane tool. I'll place my work, my work plane tool. Uh, to align with this particular uh, thread uh, stringer then come here and select that it's still selected then come to spatial copy and pick on linear so under linear here i'm going to key in uh, the number of threads and the distance uh, center to center i mean i mean the i'll assume the step from here to here to the next landing will be I'll, I'll key in 180 180 will, i think will be okay so this will be on the side of x axis so i'll just key in 180 and i will need i will need approximately 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 10 uh, 10 or 10 or 11 there so let me just come here and key in 11 of them so once i go and click copy uh, and wait for, uh, give it some time to populate that information there and we'll be able to see that being copied right on the spot so there we are and that has been copied so the the the, the, the only unfortunate thing is that that the last one it's kind of small because it's, it's supposed to connect up with the with this beam of the beam that uh, is on the on the landing section so you can see that they also uh, the, it, the space here also has been left but we can just leave it because uh, we don't want to create some connection or clashing with other parts so we can just leave it where it is we don't need to extend it though we can extend it to touch the the landing beam there so there there we are and that's how you create your your threads now i'll right click and come to redraw left click right uh, redraw that and come to uh, navigate if i come to navigate 
I'll be able to rotate this like that and you can see we have our threads in place a very nice one and you can see that so we have that in place and perfectly done so let's meet then on the same same part of of stack is handling and as we continue with placement of the of the threads now let's meet then bye bye